In the previous videos, we showed how to generate a small molecule by drawing it, and how to read in and modify a small molecule from an existing PDB structure or from the RCSB ligand library. In this video, we'll show how to generate many structures by giving a list of substructures to combine. To get started, load in the PDB ID 1TVR. 1TVR is an HIV reverse transcriptase enzyme in complex with an inhibitor. When the PDB structure loads, click on TB9 to show the reverse transcriptase inhibitor. There are three parts of this molecule we will focus on. The first is this double bonded sulfur atom. Next is the single hydrogen atom attached to a benzene ring. And the third part is this methyl group also attached to the benzene ring. Suppose we wanted to see how this molecule would behave if we replaced some of these regions with another chemical group. Specifically, we would like to know if the molecule behaves differently if the sulfur is replaced with an oxygen atom, if the hydrogen atom is replaced with bromine or iodine, and if the methyl group is replaced with a trifluoromethyl group or a single hydrogen atom. Finally, we want to generate all possible combinations of these replacements. To do this, first select the R group selection tool, then click on the location where you want each replacement group to go. Next, select the R group attachment tool. This is used to indicate in each replacement where the attachment is occurring. After that, change to the R group selection tool again and draw a box around each group of atoms you want to replace. So for the first R group, we want to use either sulfur or oxygen, so we'll draw it around both of them. For the second R group, we want to use either of these three options. And for the third R group, we want to use either of these two options. Notice that each box we drew was automatically labeled R1, R2, and R3. Because of this, it's very important that you draw these boxes in exactly the same order. Finally, because we want R1 to be double bonded, we must also use the double bond tool on the replacement for R1. We're now done describing the replacement groups, so deselect the option for finding similar residues, and then click Next. Ligand Reader and Modeler will then take care of generating every possible combination of replacements. This should result in 12 structures. Download the results, then extract and open the Charm GUI folder. Here we can see 12 different ligand folders with each corresponding to a different combination of replacement groups. The LIG PDB file contains just the ligand and 1TVR modified PDB file contains the 1TVR enzyme in complex with our modified ligand. Here we can see an example of one of the output structures. This one has a sulfur for the R1 group and a hydrogen atom for R2 and R3. This one is the same as the previous one but with a trifluoromethyl group for R3. and this one has an oxygen for R1 and bromine for R2. That's it for this video. You should now know how to use the basic features of ligand reader and modeler.